Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today I've got an exciting video. Today we're going to be reviewing the headphones from Klipsch. These are the T5 version 2 true wireless headphones and this is the McLaren edition. These are some pretty killer headphones. We're going to dive into all the specifics of it as well as my final review. I've actually had these in for review for about a month now, so I've had a very significant amount of time to spend with them to know how they perform. Now before we dive into the review, I first want to give a big thanks to Worldwide Stereo for sending these out to review for you guys. I also want to give a big shout out to the Hi-Fi Summit, which is the sponsor for today's video. Now if you're not familiar with the Hi-Fi Summit, it's an online gathering of Hi-Fi enthusiasts from all across the world. Last quarter we had an absolute amazing time with you guys. We had a great time with different brands that were represented many of those brands would give seminars that would talk about things from how to set up your speakers properly. Um, many of them would share new technologies that they were introducing or maybe even new products that they were announcing and they did that at the Hi-Fi Summit. One of my favorite aspects of the Hi-Fi Summit is the community aspect of it. This is something that really I wasn't expecting, especially for an online event. After each seminar, many of us would gather in the VIP video chat room and it was just really cool to be able to get a chance to get to know many of you guys to hear your story in Hi-Fi and then we even had an opportunity for you to share your home theater or your living room setup with all of us and so that was just a blast and to wrap up each evening Techno Dad would mix up some awesome tunes for us and again we would just hang out in the VIP lounge while we were listening to his music. Man, we had a blast. Tickets are on sale right now for $29. You can get those at thehifisummit.com. The event kicks off this Thursday so make sure you get your tickets. Alright, so now let's jump into the review of the T5 version 2 wireless headphones from Klipsch. All right, the packaging for the McLaren Edition T5 version 2 wireless sport headphones is really nice. We get this really cool box here. So if we open it up, it's just got a really nice presentation to it. So we lift up. The first thing we have here is a little handout that has all of the controls listed in here. It's kind of like a quick startup guide. So we'll be talking about these features in just a bit, but I'm going to set that to the side. Next we have just a booklet that's got just some background information on the series, kind of where it was inspired with the McLaren race cars. So you can check that out on your leisure. And then of course we've got the Klipsch, No BS, McLaren, as well as other logos, stickers. So the first thing we're going to look at is inside this little case here. We'll notice that Klipsch has included five extra pair of ear tips. Now we see we've got a small, small plus, we've got a medium plus, a large, as well as a large plus. The ones that are installed in the earbuds already are the medium size tips. Now I recommend trying each one of these to make sure you get the absolute best fit for your ears because everybody's ear canal is a different size. Beneath that we have a little pouch here that has one pair of pressure relief memory foam ear tips, as well as three pair of uh, what they call ear wings for the actual ear pieces. We'll get into that in just a little bit. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the ear pieces themselves. Here you can see what is referred to as the wing tips. So it's just a little rubber piece. You can actually remove these to clean them. And this little piece right here kind of fits in the top part of your ear to kind of keep that snug with the side of your head. So on the right one, we've got the McLaren logo, and then on the left one, we have the Klipsch logo. Now down here at the bottom, we've got the actual case. Now this case is pretty slick. So it's an IP67 rating, which basically means it's pretty much dustproof, and for the most part, it's waterproof. Now you can't submerge this in water for hours on end, but if you drop it in, say, a lake, um, it will float and on top of that it'll prevent water from seeping in there. So we've got just a little unlock latch right here. And then if we open it up, we can see 
the actual earpieces go here for the left as well as the right. And then over here, this is pretty interesting. This is basically a silicone insert. So you can actually take this out and kind of clean it. But the goal of this is to remove any moisture from your headphones, maybe from sweat or even just if it kind of got wet on the inside, at least a little bit. You can microwave this to kind of reactivate those little particles that are in there. You microwave it for about 30 seconds. As you can see, we've got a nice little rubber seal here that seals this nice and tight so you don't get water or dust in it. And then you can see the metal prongs there that make contact for the charging. Right here we have a physical port that you can charge it. But what's really nice about this setup is you can place this directly on a wireless charging uh, station and it'll charge this wirelessly. To charge the headphones, all we have to do is return them to their case. And you'll notice two things. This blue light will now turn red. And then you'll also see a charge indicator on the case itself. If there's one light, that means the case is only zero to 33% charged. If you have two lights, that is 33% to 66%. And if you have all three, that means that you have 66% to 100% charge in the case. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind when placing these in there is sometimes this little ear wing here will slide down like this. And so I noticed one time I put it in there, closed the case, and I did not realize that this earpiece was not charging. So to fix that, all you have to do is slide this rubber ear tip up and then place it back in the case and you'll notice it will begin to charge. Now, I really like the fact that Clips gives us five additional ear pieces. And as you can see, each one of them are color coded. So once you find the ear tip that fits best for your ears, you can easily know, okay, the red ones fit my ears the best, or maybe the orange ones. The only problem with this is there's no place to put the original mediums. So it would have been really nice to have another empty set here so that you could put the mediums there. Because let's say for instance, if I pull the smalls out, now I have to take the medium and put it where the small is and it just makes it a little bit more confusing. And another thing that would have been nice is to actually have the color listed by the size so that you could always put them back in the appropriate spot. Now, one thing I found that worked really well is installing these ear tips. They're kind of a pain. And so to get them on, I found out that if you would invert this, basically pull it inside out, it's a lot easier to slide into the slot here and snap it into place than if you were to leave it kind of like that and try to position it on there. Now, one thing that kind of frustrates me with these that I find is a little quirk is as you can see, just handling this just for a few seconds, you can see this already slides down. I found when it was on my ears, you know, if I was jogging or if I was working out, eventually you can see this continues to slide down. And so I found myself constantly sliding this up and then just literally over time, it just slides back down. And so you're sliding it back up. One thing that I would love to see clips do is somehow put a ridge on the earpiece so that this slides up and then snaps and holds into place. Now, one thing I really want to commend Klipsch on is their Klipsch app. Once you download the Klipsch app, you'll see an option to set up and configure your T5 Sport. Once we click Setup, it'll begin to search for your headphones. Now make sure they're turned on. Once they're turned on and it connects to the headphones, then you'll see the option down at the bottom for the McLaren T5 II Sports Black. Next page will allow us to register the product. So of course, you're gonna fill in your own information here. On the next page, you can give your product a custom name, and then we are ready to go into the quick start guide. From here, it kind of gives you an overview of the things that we talked about early on in this video, as far as the functionality of the device and how to pair it with your phone. The next step is gonna to try to connect to your headphones. If it doesn't connect, make sure you go ahead and power them on. As you can see here, you'll get an error message. Once you power them on, click OK and it will begin to connect to the headphones. So once it's connected, down here at the bottom, we're gonna click on where it says flat. This is gonna take us into a really cool equalizer that allows you to adjust the treble, the bass, as well as the mid-range. And there's some presets for flat, treble, vocal, podcast, bass, rock. And then of course, if you want to dial in your own settings, 
you could come down to the custom option and you could tweak each one of those settings to your liking. Back on the home page, if we click on the second button, that is transparency mode. And so here you just have some sensitivity settings, low, medium, as well as high for the transparency mode. The next section is your settings, and that gives us some different things that we can go into. The one thing I wanna encourage you to do is update the firmware. As you can see here, I was running 0.5.4, and there was a firmware update of 0.6.5. Now this will take about 15 to 20 minutes, so make sure you have a good battery life on your phone. Once it finishes updating, you'll see that it still takes a few more minutes to finish finalizing the update. Once it finishes with that, you'll get a notification saying that it's rebooting. And once it finishes updating, you'll be presented with an update complete. Click OK, and up at the very top, you'll see you're now running the latest firmware. As of this video, it's version 0.6.5. So now let's actually talk about the function. So to turn them on, we just press for one second, and that powers them on. So if we press the left one once, that's gonna activate transparency mode, which allows you to hear outside of the headphones a little bit easier. Now to me, the transparency mode didn't work super well. It was still a little bit muffled when trying to hear somebody. You know, maybe they were speaking to me when I had transparency on, but it is an option and there is some sensitivity settings in the app that we'll get to in just a little bit. If we press the right button once, that will play and pause your music when you're listening. Now if we press the right button twice, you'll notice over here on the right, we activate Siri, and we can say something like, Siri, set a timer for 30 seconds. And you can see up here, the timer has been set for 30 seconds. Now if you have music playing, if you press and hold the left one, the volume will decrease. If you press and hold the right one, the volume will increase. Giving a double tap on the left one will back up one song. If you double tap the right, it will fast forward one song. To answer a phone call, you press the right button once. To hang up, you double click the right one twice. So now let's talk about the performance of the T5 headphones. So the first thing I wanna share with you is once you find the right size tip, and I can't stress that enough. Initially, I just used the default medium, and I found that they would slip out over time. And so once you find the right one, they really do make a nice snug fit and they'll stay in for a long time. Definitely you wanna put them in to where they've got a nice seal because that's where you're gonna get the most bass response. And speaking of bass response, in comparison to my Apple AirPods, these honestly have very lacking bass response. But I found with the T5 version two, these have just a nice, really tight, kind of punchy bass but it isn't overbearing. I found that it was very balanced with the mid-range as well as the high frequencies, but it just gives you this nice thump so that when you're jamming to your music, whether you're jogging, whether you're working out, whether you're doing yoga, whatever you're doing, well, you're probably not listening to music when you're doing yoga. That's kind of more of a relaxed kind of exercise, but whatever you find yourself doing, if you're fishing or doing any kind of cycling or any kind of active sport, you want to be able to kind of hear that bass and feel that bass. And so these provide a solid amount of bass response that's really, really smooth. Now I tried a bunch of different genres with the headphones. I tried hip hop and rap because that has a little bit of bass. Um, then I also tried things like classical music. Piano music sounded just really smooth and natural. I loved acoustic music on these. Um, pretty much anything I threw at them, jazz, it all sounded really, really nice. I especially love hearing female vocals on these. They were just really soft and subtle, but just have a great amount of detail and clarity that you would expect from Eclipse product. Now, because of the app, you have the ability to kind of fine tune this to the sound of your liking. So if you like a little bit less bass, you can go into the custom setting and kind of dial that back. Maybe you like a little bit more mid-range. And so that's a really, really nice feature. And I think that really kind of takes this product to the next level. Now there's a lot of things I think Clips did right with the T5-2s and especially in regards to the sound quality. But there are a few things that I didn't necessarily like about the T5 version 2s. Now I mentioned earlier, because of the tight seal that it makes in your ear canal, this 
allows for just great bass response. But the trade-off to that is I found when I walk or when I run, every time my heel hits the ground, I would hear in the headphones just this boom, 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 boom every time I step or every time I would run. And so honestly, that kind of got a little bit annoying to me. Now likewise, because this has a similar effect of you kind of sticking your fingers in your ears, I love to sing when I have headphones on. Yes, Youth Man does enjoy singing. I've got a decent voice. I'm marching on, marching on this drum. This is me home. But when I would sing, it just, it doesn't sound the same. Um, it, it, it's really odd sounding. And so if you're somebody that loves to sing with your headphones on, it's gonna sound really odd. It's Again, it's just like if you were to stick your fingers in your ear and then you try to sing. Now, another thing that I found that was kind of interesting is the transparency mode. Now, the idea of transparency mode, of course, because you've got these stuck in your ears and it's really tight fit in your ear canal, it does a really good job of kind of drowning out. It's not necessarily noise canceling, but it does a good job at kind of drowning out the noise that's outside of your ears. But in regards to that, you're supposed to be able to hit transparency mode and you can have a conversation with somebody. I found in my testing, it didn't work that great. And the one thing that was kind of annoying on the medium and the high transparency setting, you hear a lot of hiss, a lot of noise, um, kind of some static and crackling in the earbuds. And so that wasn't too pleasant. Um, but again, it's not that big of a deal. It just would have been nice to be able to have a really, really high fidelity microphone built into the outside of this so that when you hit transparency mode, you can have a really clear conversation with somebody. Now, the only other negative that I have about these is this little wing tip right here. I found myself constantly pushing this back to kind of get that in place. I would have it in my ears, I'd be working out, and then you know I'd adjust them or I'd push the button to fast forward or to pause. And then sure enough, it would kind of eventually begin to just kind of slip out. And so that was just kind of frustrating because I found myself constantly, you know, just over time having to re-push that in, put it back in my ear. Um, so that's probably the only negative. Now, I believe you can take this off. I didn't really try it, but I think you can take this off and, and use it because Klipsch does have some lesser expensive models of the T5 version 2 that aren't the McLaren edition. And in at least in the videos and stuff, um, I can see that it doesn't have this on there. And so you could wear this without that, but I'm just not so sure that it's gonna be as comfortable because you don't have this rubber um, kind of outer gel on the outside of that. But actually right now, I mean, it feels really comfortable. It's still staying in my ear. And so maybe that would be the simpler solution to maybe not use this. But again, that was just the, the one thing that kind of frustrated me. Um, this would be really, really great if Clips would add just a little ring on the inside of this and put a, a little indention on the actual earpiece here so that when you put it on, it kind of locks and stays into place. Now the T5 version 2 McLaren edition is definitely not the cheapest true wireless headphones on the market. And actually Clips does have several other models that are a lot less expensive. These retail for $249, but they also have some for $200 and I believe even some even less. Um, they come with a little bit smaller case. So if you find that this case is kind of large, I mean, it's not really gonna fit in your pocket nearly as well as their smaller uh, T5 version two um, cases that aren't the McLaren edition, but you're just having a trade off where you don't get the waterproof case and the kind of dust proof case. Now, overall, I really enjoyed the T5 version two headphones. I think they provide an incredible sound. They have a great comfort. And if you can get past the little quirks of the little ear wings, um, you know, kind of sliding in and out, other than that, these things are pretty awesome. Now, if you found this video helpful, I'll have links down in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe because I produce weekly content that I'm sure you'll enjoy. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.